Let us pray. O God, the Father of our Lord Jesus, you shelter and comfort us. With your spirit, accompany us on life's journey, so that we may spread your peace in all the world. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. After this, the Lord appointed 70 others and sent them on ahead of him in pairs to every town and place where he himself intended to go. He said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go on your way. See, I am sending you out like lambs in the midst of wolves. Carry no purse, no bag, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this house. And if anyone is there who shares in peace, your peace will rest on that person. But if not, it will return to you. Remain in the same house, eating and drinking whatever they provide. For the laborer deserves to be paid. Do not move around from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and its people welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick who are there and say to them, The kingdom of God has come near to you. But whenever you enter a town and they do not welcome you, go out into its streets and say, Even the dust of your town that clings to our feet, we wipe off in protest against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God has come near. Whoever listens to you listens to me, and whoever rejects you rejects me, and whoever rejects me rejects the one who sent me. The seventy returned with joy, saying, Lord, in your name even the demons submit to us. He said to them, I watched Satan fall from heaven like a flash of lightning. See, I have given you authority to tread on snakes and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing will hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice at this, that the spirits submit to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Grace and peace from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This, of course, is Fourth of July weekend, and I hope you enjoy yourself. Be very careful with fireworks, folks. I remember when I was a kid, and of course, uh, young people should not mess around with fireworks. That's not for people under the age of 18, if I remember correctly. But there were young people around me, and I was young too, and... Uh, we had some people that would light them and hold on to them just a little too long. They weren't big fireworks, but sometimes they were awfully close to being lethal. And so, yeah, burns, yes, burns and other things happened along the way. So um, if you think you're, you're wise and clever and quick, you may end up in an emergency room. That is how that works. Be careful. Don't burn down your house. That would be a bad thing. Our Gospel reading for the fourth Sunday after Pentecost really doesn't talk about the 4th of July, which is unfortunate. But it does talk about probably a test run on what ministry looked like in the, in the, uh, the first century. Because we hear how Jesus appointed 70 disciples and sent them in pairs to every town where he was going to go. Kind of like advanced men. You know, there was a time when the carnivals would come to town and the carnival would send advance men to each town that was going there to make sure they'd be prepared for the carnival when it came. Um, the the uh, advance man would give out free tickets, would, tell, would provide advertising, but it's that kind of thing. Well, this is what the disciples are doing for Jesus. They're going to these towns and saying, Jesus is coming, let us tell you about them, and let us tell you about the kingdom of God that he will, that he will bring and manifest when he comes. And so Jesus tells his disciples, I'm sending you out like lambs in the midst of wolves, and yet, and yet 70 disciples continue to go. Uh, and he tells them how they should conduct themselves, what they should say, um, where they should live, and um, how important their mission, mission is. He goes as far as to say, whoever listens to you listens to me, and whoever rejects you rejects me, and re whoever rejects me rejects the one who sent me. They are going to get an exposure to Jesus and to God's word, with every trip the, the disciples make, they will be bringing literally God's word 
to all of these towns where Jesus will come to visit. And that's how important this mission is. And so what happens when they return? Well, they return with joy saying, Lord, in your name, even the demons submit to us. Much as the demons had, had submitted to Jesus when he called them out and exercised them, they also now submit to his disciples. What a wonderful experience that must have been to bring healing and wholeness and renewal of life to someone who was captive to, to the demons, captive to, to the devil perhaps himself. What is useful about today's gospel is this idea of spreading the word because it's the mission of Jesus Christ here on earth to spread the word of God and to manifest that word by miracles, by healings, by exorcisms. To manifest the kingdom of God in their presence. And so now the disciples do that also. And nearly almost 2,000 years later, perhaps in a very different way, we do the same kinds of things. We manifest the kingdom of God by what we say and how we live our lives. And so we share the goodness of Christ, the kindness of Christ, the mercy and the peace of Christ with others by talking to them. And we have technology. We can talk to them in person, and certainly we can talk to them and visit with them and have a relationship with them over the internet. We can do so digitally. We can meet people we will never see in person. And we can share the good news of Jesus Christ with others. What, a, what an amazing thing that is to do. We don't have to stay at someone's home. We don't have to eat their food. We don't necessarily have to have to correspond to some physical constraints. We can meet people throughout the world. We can share with them our faith and our belief in Jesus Christ. We can, we can share God's word of healing and hope and love and justice with them. Indeed, the gospel reading for today is a blueprint for witnessing, not only in, this, in the first century, but in the 21st century, how do we meet people? How do we live with them? How do we treat them? Only now we can do it in so many more ways. My hope for us is as we hear this gospel message, we recognize the opportunities that we have. We recognize the opportunities not only to spend time with our neighbors and our relatives, which who, is, who we will see during the summer months. I mean, who, I hope you see your neighbors and your relatives more often during the summer months. Uh, even though COVID isn't necessarily gone, uh, we have opportunities that a year or two ago we just didn't have. And indeed, we can recognize that God has given us the same gifts and that we will be at least somewhat successful. It always strikes me that people, people want immediate success. You know, they, they want to share the Word of God in such a way that someone, someone seems like almost immediately going to say, yes, I believe in Jesus Christ. Where can I be baptized? You know, in, in, in the first three minutes after you get done talking. That's not how human beings tend to, to move. That's not how we live our lives. And so we share, we give, we enlighten, we listen, we pray, and perhaps, Perhaps in that visit, or perhaps in a later visit, or perhaps six months to a year from now, people will have something to share with us, some good news about God working in their lives and how their faith has increased. Let this summer be an opportunity to share your faith. You don't have to, you don't have to beat someone over the head with a Bible. As a matter of fact, I'd, have, I'd rather if you didn't. It's uh, not a good thing to do. But, but to share the good news of Jesus Christ. The thing, the thing that makes you whole, the thing that, that kind of wakes you up in the morning with, with hope, the thing that makes you believe that even though times aren't very easy right now, they're going to get better. We have a future with Jesus Christ. God has given us a future, and it is a better future. May God bless us as we hear this word and strengthen us in faith that we may share our love of God and God's love of us with other people, and so their lives may be changed, and we may be blessed. Amen. United in Christ and guided by the Spirit, we pray for the church, creation, and all in need.
You send your church into the world to proclaim your message of hope. We pray for missionaries who accompany your people. Continue to renew the church as it carries out your mission. God of grace, hear our prayer. Your creation abounds with diversity and abundant life. Guide the work of those who care for the earth and seek to preserve its goodness. God of grace, hear our prayer. You guide the nations, guide world leaders to seek to lift up the most vulnerable and work for the good of all. Send your spirit to dispel poverty and hunger, inequity and injustice, violence and war. God of grace, hear our prayer. You desire abundant life for all. As we celebrate Independence Day, instill in us gratitude, generosity, and persistence in working towards freedom for all people. God of grace, hear our prayer. You care for all people in need. Heal those who are sick and comfort all who are dying or grieving. We especially pray for everyone who is on our prayer list and for the people of Ukraine. God of grace, hear our prayer. We remember your saints who proclaimed your reign on earth and now rest in you. Make us faithful in our witness to your new creation through Jesus Christ. God of grace, hear our prayer. God of every time and place, in Jesus' name and filled with your Holy Spirit, we entrust these spoken prayers and those in our hearts into your holy keeping. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.